Hi, I'm Dr. Jackson Crawford. I'm a specialist in the Old Norse language and instructor of Nordic Studies and Nordic Program Coordinator at the University of Colorado Boulder. I'm also finishing up two years teaching at the University of California, Berkeley this summer. I'm back today with another video about a topic in Norse language and myth. And today I'm following up on my videos about Loki and Odin, which introduced those figures in two or three minutes with just a short intro to the god Thor. Even though Odin was the most uh, prominent in Norse poetry of the Norse gods, the most popular god in terms of worshippers seems to have been Thor. The name Thor is a very common personal name or element in personal names in the Old Norse world, as is the name Thor in place names. We also find hundreds of amulets shaped like Thor's hammer Mjolnir in graves all over Scandinavia, representing his extreme popularity among the common people. Thor is the every man's god, whereas Odin is associated with the upper class and their pursuits of poetry and uh, leading in war. Thor is a hard worker and a hard fighter and a hard partier. He is said to be the greatest drikumadr, or drinking man, in all of the Norse cosmos. Thor is usually represented as being sort of more businesslike, though, than the other Asir or Norse gods. When the gods are partying and feasting, Thor is often represented as being out east fighting giants in Jotunheimr. To fight them, he uses his hammer Mjolnir, which uh, can be literally read as lightning or crusher, just as Thor's name literally means thunder. This hammer uh, can destroy anything it touches. It can also come back to Thor if he throws it. And uh, a little bit less known, it can shrink down to the size of a small pendant so that Thor can disguise himself, uh, perhaps as just an ordinary metalhead. The stories about Thor that we read about in the Prose Edda and in the Poetic Edda, the two main sources of Norse myth, uh, portray him as both a god who can be joked about a little bit. For instance, he's in the poem Thrymskriða in the Poetic Edda. Uh, he has to dress up as a bride in order to get his stolen hammer back. Uh, but just as he can be joked about, he's also treated much more seriously than other gods in other ways. For instance, in the poem Lokasena in the Poetic Edda, when Loki is, is insulting all the gods, he bows to Thor at the end. He's unwilling to, uh, to tempt fate by uh, insulting Thor too much. He does bow to uh, Thor's hammer at the end. Thor seems to have kind of a mixed buddy-enemy relationship with Loki. Sometimes Loki is his buddy uh, traveling partner, as he is in the story of Utgartha Loki in the Prose Edda. And then sometimes Loki is his, uh, as his deadly enemy, uh, as he and his children will be at Ragnarok when Loki's son, the Midgard Serpent, will kill Thor. Thor will kill the Midgard Serpent too, but he will take only nine steps after killing him with his hammer before the poison of the Midgard Serpent kills him. For more about the myths of the Norse gods and heroes, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I also encourage you to look for my translation of the Poetic Edda, which is the main source for the myths of the Norse gods and heroes. And from the wilderness of the American West, I am wishing you all the best.